Hello, human-shaped friends. Join me as I paint an omen. <laughs> now, in a very real way, not all omens are bad. Some of them are rather ambiguous. Some of them require a lot of interpretation. And some of them are very culturally specific. The white moth being one of them. Now, if you've been on my channel before, you know my stance on bugs. Pretty, and need to stay away from me. So for this piece, I took the darker side of the white moth. The side that says, I represent death and illness. In opposition, quite literally, almost exact opposite, other cultures view the white moth as purity, as innocence, as a tiding of good luck and good health. While making this painting, I went with death. <laughs> now, why? Because any time a bug has been anywhere near me, I have freaked out. So trying to put my mindset of trying to interpret what it means if one were to land on me, I went with the thought process that individuals had way back when of if a white moth gets in your house, someone in your house is doomed. And if a white moth lands on you anywhere out in the world, you're the one who's doomed. A little dramatic, perhaps, but any time there's been a bug on me, I feel pretty doomed. So that that's what I went with. Just, just to be honest. <laughs> I do love that other cultures, not the ones that I went with for its meanings, um, but like in Chinese culture, that they're considered to be a good thing. That's wonderful for them. I don't think everyone thinks the same way that I do about bugs. So it's nice that they get to have positive representation elsewhere. But I'm sticking with my negative representation of please don't come near me. You know, let's avoid the doom, the death, the illness. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it was a lot of fun to paint this white moth. Well, white moths. I will say the larger moth was a lot harder to fully capture just because honestly, it was rough. It was rough. I wanted it to be beautiful and like it had just landed. But I was having a really hard time painting in general because this painting had a deadline and I was not in the mindset for a deadline. <laughs> Sometimes you are. Sometimes you can be in the mindset of a deadline and it helps push you forward and finish everything on time. But this painting, I just kept putting it to the side and working on other things because the hand I was able to get down pretty quickly with that moth. I struggled to make it look right to let it have the correct amount of luminosity and movement for it to feel alive. And that is something I do struggle with when it comes to painting things that I personally don't like to look at. Painting bugs is hard because I don't observe them. I don't want to learn about their anatomy or the way that they move, how they flutter, or those little hairs that are along the edge of a moth's wings and on its body. Because that means I'm looking at it up close and personal, which is a personal failing of mine, and that is okay. Considering how often I find myself actually drawing or painting bugs, you would think I would be better at it. And yet, I'm really not. Oh, doing those antenna, the little feet, like I felt, 
felt like it was touching me while I was doing that, and it just gave me the heebity bejeebities. But I did it. And we have my first omen, one of death, at least in Europe, one of luck in Asia. I know Asia is very big, but so is Europe. Anyway, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Maybe you learned something new. Maybe you didn't. Maybe I was grossly wrong about many things. If so, let me know. I hope you like my painting. I hope you have a nice day. Until next time.